a pastor in Nashville lost his beautiful daughter. This is the great devastation in the city of Nashville along with his daughter, five other victims. Altogether, this is the total of number six. Prophetically, number six is the number of the enemy. And this is a targeted attack of the enemy. The Lord told that enemy comes to kill, steal and destroy. And the enemy perverts the mind of the people and create them some kind of sense of evil to go and do evil. And this is the pattern we see in the history that is repeatedly happening. There are 1.15 million schools in this nation of America. And if we employ one trained, skilled officer in the each school, it would just cost $73,000 per year. That's all it would cost. And that will cost totally $8 billion per year in the budget. The amount that we are spending in this nation to Ukraine and other supports to many nations, including Pakistan and so many other countries that we see, it is like in several billions. It's not just $8 billion. We need just $8 billion to protect these schools with officers who are skilled and trained to protect. But above all, God is the protection. The Lord is going to protect. The Lord is going to protect by sending His angels. As we pray, the Lord is going to dispatch His angels to protect these schools. And these children who are totally have no clue what's going on, very innocent and very completely like very little children. God said like if anyone cause harm for these little ones, God told something serious things about that. So God wants us to not only pray for the little children and also defend the little children and also just imagine the trauma that the enemy caused to all the hundreds and thousands of the school children, first grade, sorry, kindergarten to all the way till the um, sixth grade in that school. Imagine the trauma and the pain that every children teachers went through. Enemy always come to confuse and then use that confusion to do something terrible. And that is the pattern of the enemy. The enemy always justifies the doing. So this number six, six people are being killed. Just imagine the pain that these six families go through in the last couple of days, which is unbearable. So this pastor, he counseled the person who took this attack against the children and the teachers. So he, he, was a counsel, he was a counselor as well. So he counseled this person who took this attack. So while well, we do not know the full details, but one thing I know, enemy is behind this and enemy is the one who caused the person to go ahead and do this. And this is the pattern we are seeing and that needs to be bound. I'm talking from the spiritual standpoint. God wants everyone to bring their thoughts captive in Christ Jesus. This is something missing. We want everyone who are feeling differently, who are really thinking that they are really, their mind is gone. They have to, they are ability, they have potential, they have a way, a pathway that medicine cannot do, doctors cannot do, counseling may not help. But what can help is bringing the thoughts into captivity in Christ Jesus. Is the only way to go to overcome every enemy themes and the schemes and the patterns. So God wants the nation to arise to pray for the defense of these schools. Defenseless children needs to be defended. All these little ones who have no clue needs to be protected at any cost. It takes just eight billion to protect. But above all, God is the one who can protect. I'm I'm talking both from the governmental standpoint and spiritual standpoint. Sometime back, God showed how there was a spirit of Python, a snake spirit in the mountains of Nashville that's really constantly choking the city and the area and the surrounding, causing panic and causing fear and causing chaos. I released that the Python spirit around the Nashville probably like six, seven months back. I will try to find the video. This is really interesting to see that this is the same city that we are seeing. This is under attack. The Lord is going to bring forth the cutoff moment for the snake. The snake's head will be cut off spiritually. The Lord is going to cut off the head. You're going to see that happen for the glory of God. The Lord is going to release his fire and anointing his breakthrough. The sword of the spirit is cutting the head of the enemy.
that is operating in that territory it's a territorial demon territorial enemy that is operating in the surrounding area of nashville to victimizing people to cause terror church needs to arise the lord is going to use many churches there many churches that powerfully including churches like regeneration church pastor kent and many other churches the lord is going to raise the banner of victory elevate them to continue to walk in that boldness authority and push back the darkness and dark agenda from that city totally out of their place out of the boundary out of the nation america this is going to be a powerful season and this is not end this is the beginning of the spiritual warfare for enemy it is end but for god's people it is the spiritual warfare and the beginning of the spiritual warfare to push back the dark agendas and enemy schemes and the patterns the lord will do powerful things and mighty things he is going to do extraordinary things glorious things for his glory hallelujah and just the senate sorry house passed the parents bill of rights so this is a very powerful move just recently so parents will have rights and this is one of the things we prayed for the parents have right to speak the right to say what the children can learn and that there is a amazing protection of the parents parents cannot be criminalized parents cannot be put in a spotlight the lord is going to bring forth a powerful move in this nation the lord is going to bring forth a reformation and revival in the school system and in the schools both from the security standpoint and what has been taught in the school several um several years back there was a um enemy schemes and the patterns infiltrated the nation confucius confucius university was there everywhere and it was shut down and in a major um bringing down the all the ideologies and the patterns what our children learn is very important they can able to learn bad as good and good as bad if they were taught wrongly because they are like a plain slate plain paper whatever you write there that's what going to stay there in that book so it's very important so parents act it's really good so it's going to be a powerful um parents rights act is really going to be powerful i pray for that to make it happen in a amazing way exercise in a supernatural way and also one other thing that we see here is the um taliban shows off seized us military equipment so you know like there are billions of dollars left behind in afghanistan they're showing a show they are not showing the show of the military parade of their countries um weapons they are showing the military parade of us weapons and us vehicles and it is enormous it's just a small um screenshot but it's enormous amount of vehicles are left behind so the lord is going to bring forth the truth behind this because this nation cannot leave billions of dollars for in the hands of some other country or some other nation and this belongs this property and asset belong to america and this is something definitely that is going to be a greater truth that's going to come out in the coming days and the lord is going to bless this nation powerfully and protect this nation from every adversaries and every enemies and the patterns of this nation hallelujah against this nation will be eradicated the lord is going to bring forth a powerful transformation supernatural settlements for the glory of god this is going to be so powerful hallelujah and also finally bite dance bite dance is the uh, tiktok's uh, parent company so they have been asked by congressman so are are you spying on american citizens so this is what the ceo told from tiktok i don't think that spying is the right way to describe it so what's happening here is um every time when you have the tiktok app in your phone and when you type an email to someone or when you send a text they are tracking the movement of the key key so when you type something when you type in your id when you type in your password when you type in the any sensitive information to your family or your friends or your employer or your 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 colleague so they are tracking and also they are finding tiktok is finding where you are located today and where you are going every day what is your routine looks like and uh, what are all the places you go so basically they are creating a profile in china with the tiktok 
details so the moment when they type in the name it tells this person go to the school at this time go to this coffee shop at this time go to the church at this time and stay in this address and then um has these many contacts and these many are their family members their circle and this this is the details that they are typing in and this is what the project they are working on the last year forbes uh, journalist was spied on through tiktok so it has been proved that they have been like tracking what this forbes forbes uh, uh, one of the uh, very good magazine forbes magazine forb uh, uh, top 100 richest people and all those listings you will be you you know what i'm talking about they so china um, government ccp government they used the tiktok and they spied the journalist of forbes and they were able to see what they are what article they are typing on because of the key type using the key type in the phone not not while using tiktok just by having tiktok on phone it's it's happening so just imagine so um basically like um there is nothing wrong in the way how all the social media and things are coming out because that's a freedom of speech but when that has been used for spying and espionage then that needs to be controlled so while many people are asking to um you know like um, ban the tiktok i would say that it is really important to keep the data and also like um stop all these unwanted tracking to be disabled and or get the user consent that whether can i track your geolocation whether can i ta- track your key type events so those things are not even asked for the user to be get consent on they are just taken for granted so that's the thing that needs to change i pray in the name of jesus and declare all not only just tiktok all the social media platforms let there be certain limitation and let there be a certain legislation let there be a certain bill that not deplatform them but to make sure that they are not spying that's a key word nothing else they should not spy they should not gather information of the users um without their consent that is very key and god is going to bring forth the powerful move in this nation and greater things are yet to come and the lord is going to bring forth the amazing creativity freedom still exist but the freedom um should not be used to spy on someone or espionage on someone some nation that is really a um evil thing so that needs to stop and we i pray that you know like let the people in the house and the state they wake up to the truth and reality it's very important and sensitive to for a government to know a different government to know where you live where you go what you speak and what you type and what contents you are working on today and that is really really unbelievable and from the fingertip by putting your name all the details will come including your family chain including everything your routine and um, everything pretty much everything so this needs to be ending today a declare and decree for a supernatural breakthrough and protection let um, many wise house of representatives and congressmen and also senate raise a bow in jesus name and let there be some legislation let's not ban but rather let's you know like if ban you have to ban every everything because even the apps here in america also does the same so just because the data is in china in the wrong hands it doesn't mean that spying is wrong in general and espionage is wrong in general because if our american apps and uh, all the social media companies when they store all the information if that information is hacked it is still going to be a spy for some other nation just imagine that so either way i think there needs to be a major change that needs to happen and uh, it has to be very wise and uh, without affecting the freedom of speech but still needs to be legislated so that it is going to bless the nation it's going to protect the nation and citizens so that the citizens can be know and uh, this is something america has been like uh, open on this area com- compared to that of uk um but but the lord is going to bring forth a very good you know like there's a clear contradiction between freedom and also legislation but there needs to be a small thin line when it comes to the nation security and citizens being spied without their consent that, that is the thing that needs to end so if the same thing happened during the uh, 
Snowden and all those time. So everyone was really like raising up and telling and fighting against this. But when it comes to a third party app, they are very light. But you do not know whose hand these data are going to go. Right now it is accessible according to the China's constitution. They are, every company are free. they're signing the contract that yes we will give all the data about everyone and what they are doing where they are locating and what they are where they are going and all the details and what they are typing in their id password credit card details every type and key types that they are doing we will give it to you massive data breach happened on the credit cards and the source was from china nobody knows how they got all the information you are typing in but keep app of the tiktok is behind the scenes you're not even opening but since you're typing in tiktok is slowly monitoring what you're doing with your phone and passing the information to china and it is happening no one denied that tiktok ceo did not deny that he said yes it is true but we are not using this for spying that's that's not true that's what he says so this is really important to pray prophesy stand above raise above and uh, understand the truth and god is going to bring forth the powerful transformation turn around and this is a great danger that is really affecting the young children and uh, this is really really um needs to end in jesus name powerful things are going to happen hallelujah so that's the one of the reason why when during the president trump time he tried to ban tiktok and then a lot of pushback i would say if you legislate tiktok tiktok if you really um you know like tell the data cannot leave this nation number 1 number 2 and all these sensitive things needs to stop you cannot be able to take this information which is none of your business to the tiktok so those things needs to be legislated and that way there will be a unilateral or like a oneness in passing something that's not only for tiktok for all the apps they should not be doing where you live where you go without the consent of the user that's the problem when the user says yes you can track me that's a whole different story but if you are denying but still they are tracking that's really wrong that's spying so forcefully violating the first amendment of the people while everybody is arguing like yeah so blocking the tiktok is um violating the first amendment but um espionage and spying the citizens is also violating the first amendment of the citizens so that is very important than the apps first amendment so people's first amendment are more important app is something helping the people and and it is not the other way around but a lot of people are saying no it's uh, when you um touch tiktok it is attacking the first amendment but it's it goes the same way when people's are being people are being spied on and that is also attacking the first amendment of the people's freedom to live in not to be tracked basically yeah god is going to bring for the powerful things and amazing wisdom he's going to bring back president trump to office very soon in the name of jesus let there be a supernatural transformation powerful delivery and breakthrough and deliverance and establishment supernatural turnaround is going to happen in the nation be of good courage greater mighty things are going to happen god will do extraordinary things and mighty things 